Hey there guys, welcome to my mini teach, a short power pack of teaching in less than 10 minutes. Where are we going today? This is a favorite verse of mine from John's Gospel. And we are looking at the importance of knowing God because Jesus is very clear in this passage that in order to have eternal life, we must know God and we must know God through his son, Jesus Christ. So let's read the passage. And it, this is Jesus speaking. He says, and this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Now, in the, the context of this verse is Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane on the night he's betrayed. And he's praying, and this is, this is part of his prayer for himself, like, you know, glorify the Son. But he's actually praying for us as well, those who will follow in the apostolic tradition, those of us who will follow and become followers of Christ, that we will know him and, and that by knowing him, knowing Jesus, we will know the Father because Jesus is the image of the invisible God. When he was transfigured on the Mount of Transfiguration before Peter, James and John, they were able to, to see, they caught a glimpse of Jesus in his glory, the 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 actual tangible image of the invisible God they had served for, for, you know, millennia. They had served the invisible God and they could see him, they could touch him. They, you know, like, oh, wow, stop and think about that for a moment. That is amazing. We know God by knowing his son whom he sent, Jesus Christ. And there is no wiggle room out of this, guys. Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. We do not get, we do not get eternal life outside of knowing Jesus Christ. Now that is offensive. That is offensive to, you know, to the Jews, it's a stumbling block. Um you know, to the Gentiles, it's foolishness. Gentiles is like everybody else is not a Jew. Um, you know, the unbelieving world, it's foolishness. They're like, you know, you Christians believe some crazy stuff. Yeah, I guess it probably is crazy to the to the mind that hasn't been renewed in Christ. I get it. I get that it would look nuts. That's fine. Um, the wisdom of God is foolishness to men. Um, and I, I, I even imagine that that statement is highly, um, highly offensive. To, to Muslims as well. It's highly offensive. But this is what Jesus himself said. And the tradition of the Gospels and what's been laid down in our New Testament canon is highly authoritative. And therefore, we have to give really careful thought to the words of Christ himself. So when Christ himself is saying, when Christ himself is saying, you must, um, you know, in order to have eternal life, you need to know me. You need to know me. And through knowing me, you will know the Father. Because eternal life is, as is, as Jesus says here, it is knowing you, is in knowing the Father and the only, tr the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So when we know Jesus, we know the Father. Jesus reveals the heart of the Father. Now, Here's the question. How do we get to know Jesus? How do we get to know him? Well, here's a few simple ways to do that. Now, if you do not know Jesus yet, if you have not actually come into a relationship with him, here is your opportunity to cry out to Jesus. Those who call out on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. That's a promise in scripture. I believe it's Romans 10. You can cry out to him at any time and he will reach out and snatch you out of that place that you're in. But if you want to know him more and more and more, you need to walk with him. And that means reading the word of God. Reading the word of God is Jesus in print. Every story whispers his name from Genesis to Revelation. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ. All right. And the deeper you go into studying the scripture, the more you will see Jesus in the scripture from start to finish. So read the word of God. Spend time in prayer, whatever that looks like. Now, that does not have to be like this religious observance of, you know, you have to pray this way. You can if you want. If you pray the Lord's Prayer every day, great. If you have a specific list of prayers you pray, fantastic. My prayer life's a bit different to that. I'm, I'm a bit more of a life of prayer rather than prayer life kind of girl. I just keep a running conversation with God in my head and from my heart all day long. Um, even in my sleep, I'm talking to the Lord. Um, 
And when there are when he moves me and stirs me to pray about certain things, I pray about that because I'm a prophetic intercessor. So I'll pray into I'll pray the heart of God and the will of God into a circumstance. So talking to God, prayer is like talking with love. That's what it is. Talking with love, talking to the one who loves you more than anybody else in the whole wide world. Praise the Lord, hey? God is so good to us. And uh yeah, spend time in his presence. Worship him, praise him, exalt his name. That's how you come to know him. And the promise is, because Jesus himself said this, my sheep hear my voice. So you will actually hear his voice when you're pressing in to get to know him. Know it, pardon me, knowing God through Jesus Christ is eternal life. And I pray you tap into that today. Eternal life is not some distant reality that's promised. I mean, it is a promise. We will see a fulfillment of it. But we get to step into it in the here and now. And that is an amazing miracle. Praise God. Now, if you do not know Jesus Christ personally, please send me an email. I would like to be in touch with you. Let me find my email. I'm just going to put it up on screen. Um, inquiries at naomibuyersministries.com. If you would like to get to know Jesus Christ, send me an email. I would love to pray with you or get members from my team to pray for you. All right. Bless you guys. I pray this week of mini teachers has really blessed you. If you haven't caught them all, go back and catch some of the earlier ones. Love you guys. I uh, look forward to seeing you next week in my mini teachers. Have a great weekend. Bless yous from down under. Toodles. Bye.